Glory, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to his name. God bless, God bless, God bless. Thanks for being here today at Measure Faith Worship Center as I put on this video and give you some the word today, today because this word is a word that can help you and lift you up and he will be glorified. I thank you for being here at Measure Faith Worship Center USA as well as we're represented with Measure Faith Worship Center in India, Pastor Babu Magapu and his great wonderful family, his wife and his children. And, and, and his fathers and his uh, brothers, great many of them of, uh, that, that follow after the, the uh, God Almighty and his, and his plan and purpose for us on this great world, this planet that we we share. <laughs> you might hear this music here. I got a little bit of background here and stuff, so you might hear that music. Uh, it's kind of late in the afternoon, so you might hear some stuff in the outside, children playing, you know, as the darkness comes, as the day is over, <laughs> you know, but his morning has just begun, <laughs> you know, he's 10 hours in the future, <laughs> that's what, he's my future friends, <laughs> you know, my friend from the future, but a great man of God, a great uh, 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 person of Christ, and that's what we're talking about. Are we that person of Christ? Last week we talked about a drink from the spiritual rock. That is Christ. Christ was that spiritual rock. You know, uh, when, when they when the water gushed out the rock, it represented the water coming out of Christ. When when he was pierced in his side and, and for and, and on the cross by the soldiers and and stuff. And you know, this is the same as you know, uh, he's he. he did the, uh, the sacrifice that he did on the cross for us. You know, but God bless, and I can say, you know, I don't, don't try to make this kind of ritualistic. You know, I, I give some honors to some, some of the great people that, that encourage me and lift me up, and that's what we're here today, to lift you up and stuff. And so, you know, uh, uh, John Richburg of Pleasant Pine Baptist Church here in Gaston area, great man of God, helped me a lot, gave me lots of opportunity when Seemed like there was no opportunity, you know. He listened to the voice of God, and that's what we're talking today about, how we have to have the ears to hear God, you know. And then what comes out of our mouth should be what we hear from God and stuff. And so, you know, this is, and, and, uh, there's other great ministers. Uh, last week I, I was talking about Brother Jack Whitlow, and my wife goes to his church, and that's the Independent Fellowship of the Living Word. I kept saying just the independent uh, uh, fellowship, uh, or, or this the uh, fellowship of the Living Word. But it's a long title. But they're, they're a great uh, church and do great things for the for for uh, for the community over in the Lexington, uh, Gaston, Lexington area, as well as like I said, my great friend, uh, uh, and you know he, uh, you know. Uh, Maurice Mayo, a great friend of mine and stuff, and you know, and uh, uh, he's a great man of God. Works for Pepsi and stuff, uh, the Pepsi Cola Company and stuff. But he's a great man of God, you know. And, and be in prayer with him as he's again about to be a, a parent, a father, you know. And so he, but he loves his heavenly father, and that's what it's about, you know. And that's why I was trying to make a point there. He loves his heavenly father, and he, and. and that love will make you love others. All right, uh, give you that insight to love others. You know, this word will help you to love others when they seem like there can be no love. You know, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and, and Facebook videos and, and it talks about the, 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 the friends and the Karens. <laughs> you know, and that you just see how just instantly people just hate each, uh, hate each other, hate when they don't even know why they hate. You know, why do they hate when they don't even know why they hate? But they do, you know, because of race, religion, and all different things. You know, just uh, just because uh, of someone's actions, you know, why is our actions contrary to their actions? You know, we have to, you know, there's a lot of people race to be true, 
the, uh, to be to be right. You know, <laughs> you know that's what that's kind of political and at this time in this times and ages where people are, you know looking towards the, the things that, that in the political realm that are right you know and they've never been right they've always been a, something in the political realm of, and the political leaders you know but through God and through faith you know we can make a difference you know we pray prayers and you know with those prayers God hears those prayers that's what this message here is how God hears those prayers and he, he'll, he'll, he'll uh, bless those prayers. It says we're either blessed or we're cursed. You know, with a curse. You know, those that don't know him doesn't walk in his, his, his righteousness. And that's for his righteousness is his, his, through Jesus Christ. And that's what we're here today to uh, talk about, how, uh, you know, him and why we're persuaded to follow him. We're, you know, we, we, we have to, you know, be determined, you know, to be a good, good, good person. You have to be determined, you know, to, to, to succeed in something, you know, you know, if you just waver and wish, wish it to happen, it, it don't happen, you know, sometimes, you know, it, it was where they throw the little coin in the, in the, in the fountain and, and they wish to wish, but it's about having faith and trusting God. To, let, to make those things come true, you know, God manifests those things when we, when it all lines with His word and His purpose. You know, He wants the best for His children. You know, he, and you as you would want the best for your children. And God bless you. Like I said, this is this going to be some uh, uh, quick word here, and you know, just a couple scriptures and some stuff, and then we'll give an invitation that you can. Know Christ for your as your Lord and Savior today, and you know, like I say, you need a Bible because you can't just think the Bible. You got to know the Bible. You know, it's best you know some of the Bible and get it, and so you know, so the devil don't come and trip trip you up and steal what you have. You know, so you need to get the Bible, and you can get a Bible through. You know, I always plug these people because it's a great great uh, uh, company, and they'll send it right to you. You can get a Bible from. Christianbook.com and stuff, and, and, or either Amazon. You can get them from Amazon. You can get them from Walmart. You can get them from from uh, any retailer. You know, bi Bibles aren't that expensive, and there's just a and there's different kinds of Bibles. You know, different. For, uh, there's ladies' Bibles and gentlemen's Bibles, and there's Bibles for study. You know, get the right Bible. You know, and then get into that, that word and allow that word to. to to transform your life, and that's what we're talking about, transforming our lives through this word today, and that's what you can do, you can have, like here, you know, here's a, a low flying plane and, and stuff, I, was, I don't know what the video's playing, it's national forest and stuff, but but God bless, and like I said, we're going to get here in this word today, because I, I, I was thinking about how it's like a nice title, and but it's by the love of Christ, I am persuaded. I used to have a tea, a, 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 a tea, a tea that had it on it. It was uh, I am persuaded and stuff that I got actually from being in a Christian a Christian play, and uh, they were awarded those that uh, did the best with their parts and stuff. And I, and that's I was uh, had like three different parts in that play, but you know. Uh, and I did a nice little message a couple um, months ago about uh, 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 what role are you playing, you know. But that was kind of like what this here. And I, I, but I used to wear that shirt and people would see it. And they'd ask me, what do you mean by persuaded? <laughs> you know, are you persuaded? You know, if you persuaded in something, nobody's going to change your mind. You know, nothing comes your way is going to trip you up and, and, and or steal from you. You know, because if you persuade it, you'll, do, you'll, put, you'll put those measures in effect that it keeps someone from doing that by getting more learned in the Word, find the understanding by, through the Holy Spirit for what you, for the things that you need. You know, we daily need things, you know, and God, God daily loads us with, our, with benefits, and those benefits is to be able to, to know that He is. He is a, he's a reward of those that diligently seek Him. 
and stuff. And like I say, you know, being prayer for this here ministry is like I say, he, he's uh, uh, reconstructing his father's church, which is actually his still his church because he's an heir to his father. But it's, it's, it's Measure of Faith Worship Center Churches too. He's built a church above his house, but he's going to build it. He's building a reconstructing the other church and uh, I got a nice, beautiful picture I'm going to have to him do a video and send it to me but of the church and he runs about 30 40 but he, he also ministers to many other pastors in the local area he's a, he's a, he's a, a general overseer of probably about 20 30 churches and a lot and about 20 30 ministers and so you know and, and same with there's another great minister over there as well and uh, he does great work as well uh, Pastor Sandy Sandrai, Sandra Sandrai, he's over there at uh, Gassimi Church, and stuff. And, uh, and you know, he's he's a great man of God, and he goes all around in the general area and stuff, and he ministers. He's a great bishop to the to the people, to the ministers in that area. You know, he's been been in ministry for 30, 40 years. He's been in there a long time. You know, but that's what about. When somebody's persuaded, they'll stay in the trenches. Like you know, when you in the armed forces, you 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 swear to protect. That's what it's about. You swear to protect and and defend. That's what it says. When I was in the navy, that's what we you had to, when you you swore in to the constitution, but also to the to the service and to 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 be honorable and to and to and to. Do and go wherever they called you or asked you to go, and defend, and <laughs> defend the country, you know, and stuff. And there's great people that died for this country because they was persuaded to do their duty, to do the honors, to be the one that they went in the trenches when others were were sitting back on the sideline, you know. It's like watching the ball game, people. Uh, such such a uh, uh, ravaged fans, you know, they, you know, you know, kill them, kill them, kill them. <laughs> well, they don't realize what they're saying, you know, you know, and it's trying to defeat the other team, but they they've never left the stands. They don't know what it is to put to, to put on the put on the the out the uniform and put on the outfit or put on the the pads and get out there and actually do the work. And you know, and that's what this point here is about. Are we out there doing the work? Are you ready to go do the work? Are you able to do the work? Are you trusting God? Are you persuaded that neither rain or shine, like they, like they, like they say about the postal service, rain or shine, the mail has to be delivered. <laughs> and, you know, I'm using all these little small cliches, but that's what it's, it's about. You know, That's what we have to have, that mentality. Are we persuaded? Are we persuaded by the love of Christ? If you really, Christ loved you, he gave his life for you that on Calvary. Are you persuaded to give your life? It said, you know, uh, you know, take, uh, you know, take up your cross and follow me. That's what he said. Take up your cross and follow me. You know, to die is to gain. You know, we have to die to our this life and know that there's a life eternal. And that's what it's about today, and stuff. And like I said, I, I'm trying to make this short so I can get it on YouTube. Uh, I put it on YouTube, and as well as it's Facebook. Facebook's making some changes, so if you know, if it might be on there, all of a sudden it, it pull, it, they pull it. So I don't know, <laughs> but but you know, they'll find God. They help me to find a way to have it on something for for people to 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 get. Or if you, if you I always have an email or and stuff. And, there always, I believe, be a chat, and you can I can send it to you in the chat. But there'll, there'll be a way for you to get it and stuff. But we're going to start here today. You know, like I said, this just some like music behind me and stuff. But, but you know, like I said last week, it was about a drink from the spiritual rock. But today, it's about the love of Christ, and I'm persuaded by the love of Christ. I am persuaded. By the love of Christ, and we're going to start here, like uh, in verse uh, Psalms, the the fifty fourth Psalm, and you, and you it's right in the uh, middle of your Bible, and usually, and you know, the Psalms are good good for us because they help us 
to understand the hearts of the people and the heart of the, and, the, and, the, and the character of God because they, they, they all uh, give us a, a great out, uh, uh, outlook on how God uh, uh, listens to our prayers and hears our cries and stuff and then he wants us to he wants us uh to be just like you would a ch child you know your child's voice and you know him when if, if you don't no one can hide him from you yeah you, know, you know and god wants us to have that same kind of heart and and, and that's how david did david david was, uh, get, had a heart for god and the people around david and those that these psalmists they had a heart for god you know there wasn't it, it, it wasn't uh, uh selfishness is what it, it was open and stuff and the song was a way to, for them to communicate that openness they had with God that's what I'm making a point here and stuff but like I said we're going to go over to the Psalms 54 it said it was to the chief musicians of uh, 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 Nigga North Nigga North Meshachel a song of David when the Zerphims uh, came and said to Saul, "Do if not David hide himself?" And saying that's with us. See, and so that's what it, you know here. And so it, that it starts out says, "Save me, O God, by Thy name, and judge me by Thy strength." For our strength is in God. Our strength is in Christ. Hear my prayer, O God. Hear, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers are risen up against me, and oppressors, oppressors seek to, after my soul. They have not set before them. Before them, Shelah. Verse 4 says, Behold, God is my helper, and the Lord is with them that uphold my soul. He shall reward evil unto evil. He shall reward evil unto my enemies and cut them off in, in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice unto thee. I will praise thy name. I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. And that's what we, verse 6 here. It says, I will praise thy name. That's what we have to give. A, a, a praise in our, our, in our mouth. That will keep us persuaded. You know, when all comes against us, when we cry out and, and pray that pray that praise, give praise to God, give praise to that the most holy God. For He hath delivered me out of all, out of all my trouble. He hath delivered me the the first part of verse seven. For He hath delivered me out of all trouble. And my eyes have seen his desire upon my enemies. And you got to just get that and be and allow that to get in you. We have to give ear to it. It says, hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. I like that part there, to give word and, and, and give an ear asking God. You know, a lot of people demand things from God. God, why you let this happen? You shouldn't let this happen. Why do you let them do this to me? <laughs> you know, they want to blame God. They want to slander God I don't know, with, with blasphemy. You know, and they'll get in with other blasphemers. You know, why would you want to do that to a God that, that gives you life, gives you breath? Gives you a great, a, a great dominion over all things, in, in His Word and stuff. But, but they, they don't. People don't, because they don't know God. But they should know. Should know that God is a God. He, he, He's a God also of wrath and judgment, and He will judge those one day. Why not judge you here, this on this earth? But He, can, He will judge you one day, because we'll, it says. Uh, uh, wants to tell a man to die and then the judgment and so you shall be judged we all will be judged because it says we've all come short of the glory I mean we've all sinned and come short of his glory and it says save me O God by thy name 
and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer. I'm just go over it a few more times here, and so we can be, get this in us, get this deep in our spirit here today. That's what it's about: getting it deep in our spirit and allow, be persuaded by the love of Christ. Let this be be you, be part of you. Walk in this. That's what he says. Walk in it, and then we do this by by hearing it and and by the hearing of the word and by faith, trusting in faith. And, and walking in faith, not by sight, but by faith. Hear my prayer, O Lord, O God. Give ear to the, the words of my mouth. Verse, and be, drop back down to verse 4. Behold, God is my helper. Remember that when things start coming against you. Who's your helper? You know, you know. I've been other people's helper. I was in walked in, worked in the trade field, you know, and stuff, different ones. I've worked with carpenters. I've worked with, with, with mason, uh, 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 tile men, uh, uh, heating and air conditioning uh, companies and stuff. And I always was a helper. I was the tool fetcher. <laughs> you know, you know it, it's, it's okay to be a tool fetcher, fetcher, <laughs> fetcher in the kingdom of God. Because God says, he says it's, it, it, they say, oh, who is the greatest in the kingdom? And he said, a servant. You know, and that's what I hear. That's why I'm kind of making a point here. It's okay to be a servant. For the, by the love of Christ, I'm persuaded. You know, even if I'm the, the lowest, I'm still going towards the highest. I, I, I you know, I just made uh, a 15-year a kind of uh, certificate from Walmart where I've been working uh, for Walmart. I've been working for almost 30 years, but I'm just uh, I work th uh, at a new store here, and I just reached. And but they didn't. They thought it's funny because they didn't give it to me on time, and so I kept persisting on them to get uh, find out where it was at because that's where I did. I set a goal to work to get to that 15 years. We set goals in, in life all the time. We set goals to do things. We set, we set, we 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 we, we make out schedules for our own self. We schedule things we need to do, paying bills, uh, going certain on vacations and and stuff, and you know, doing things that that we have to do. But are we scheduling those things around what we need also to do for God? When God says, you know, you know. On that vacation, I need you to witness this, this, this so and so and this person and that. Are we setting aside the time to do what God is wanting us to do? And you know, because if we, oh God, give ear to my mouth, you know, that's what we have to hear, and and, and an ear to my words, you know. And God wants you to have to do the same thing. Are you giving ear to God's words today? Are you giving ear to God's word today? For by the love of Christ, I'm persuaded. You know, you know, some people, you know, it don't matter. They gonna go on vacation. It don't matter if it's rain, sleet, or snowing. You know, you know. Sometimes, you know, that you people. I've seen people get out there in, in the snow, and they get out there in the rain. But, but they have, they on a mission <laughs> to get get where they need to get, or get what they need to have. To have. And that's what we need to have, that same mentality and stuff. And, and the rest of that verse 4 says, The Lord is with them that uphold my soul, and he shall reward evil unto my enemies and cut them off in, in that truth. For his truth will prevail. His truth is eternal. His truth is everlasting. And that's what we walk in, and that's what it said. The Holy Spirit will lead us into all truth. And that is to know this word and allow this word to help us to be more persuaded. O oh Lord, for it is good. I will praise thy name, for, Lord, for it is good. The name of the Lord is good. You know, and that's what it says. For he hath delivered me out of all troubles, and my eyes have seen his, uh, seen his desire upon my enemy. And then we're going to just go here to, uh, we're going to go over to Romans, the book of Romans. 
in the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and then you got the Acts, and then and then Romans after the four Gospels and stuff. And going, oh, this was the letters to, to uh, Paul wrote to the Roman Church and stuff in and, and, and Rome and stuff in. Uh, And we're going to go over to the 8th chapter of Romans. We're going to go over to the 8th chapter of Romans. And we're going to go to the start. Because this is about being persuaded. Paul writes it in this in this letter here. And we'll get uh, uh, where you uh, get, uh, can get this understanding. And verse 31 of Romans 8th chapter. It says... What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? See, he's putting the question here. If God be for us, is God for you today? The answer to that is most definitely yes. And you have to be persuaded that it is yes. You have to be persuaded in your heart, in your spirit, by opening up the day and allowing it to be part of you. Be all of you, you know. You have to have that that pers that that persona that that and be persuaded in your in your spirit, and and and, and not wavering like James said. That we, don't be wavering, tossed to and fro like the sea, but be persuaded. Here we have to be persuaded, like Paul saying here, and stuff. And what uh, shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. There you go again. Like he delivered us out of all our troubles. He delivered him up for us all. How shall uh, he not... And so you got to understand here, when I say that in, in context, you got to know that first it was for the Jew. You know, first it was for the Jew, but then when the Jew rejected, you know, Christ told Peter to go, that it was also for the, for, uh, for the Gentile, because we are supposed to, to uh, uh, bring the Jew to jealousy, and they'll, they'll come to God, when they, because when, because they'll see the love of God in us, they'll be persuaded when they see others, will be persuaded when they see the love of God in you. And that's what is kind of directing there. He shall, uh, shall he not with him also freely give us all things. Got to go there again. Verse 32 says, He that spared not his son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? Are you one of God's elect? One that God elected to, to, to be able to have this great, this great salvation. That's what he was talking about here. How, you know, through the great salvation of Christ, we have, uh, we, we have all things. Naturally and spiritually, when, we per, when we're persuaded that God is the one that gave it to us, God is the one that uh, wants us to have it. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justif uh, justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? Is it Christ? Is it Christ that died? Yea, rather, that it is and that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God? Who also maketh intercessions for us? And that's what we're talking about. Because by the love of Christ. Because by the love of Christ, he, he is making intercession for us daily. He's there uh, with God and is making intercession for us. Verse 34, verse 35, and Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or a pearl, or pearl, or pearl of, 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 of sword? In other words, things coming against us, things uh, things trying to entrap us. We, God, uh, uh, are, are, 
or famine, you know, wanting something, wanting things, needing things, you know, the, our nakedness, you know, God says, take no thought of uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, uh, it has its own troubles, you know, you know, about what you should wear, what you should have, what you should eat, or what you should drink. You know, you don't have to take thought of those things. But God is our provider. He is our Jehovah Jireh. He will provide for us. And verse 34 says, As it is written, for thy sake we are all killed all the day long. We are all accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors. Through him that loved us, by the love of Christ, I am persuaded. By the love of Christ, or by the love of Christ today, are you persuaded? By the love of Christ today, my beloved friend, are you persuaded? For verse 38, for I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, depth, or any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And it doesn't mention any other religion. It don't say in Buddha. It don't say in Muhammad, you know, you know, it don't say in uh, Mahatma Gandhi, you know, it don't say in, in, in any any in any occult leader. It says in Christ Jesus our Lord, and in Christ Jesus our Lord, and that's why I say it's just a little bit of word here today, and I want you to, uh, like I said, keep in prayer for Major Faith Worship Center over here uh, uh, to. And, and the construction of it, and that, and as Pastor, um, uh, he's got the foundation, and they're starting the walls here this next couple of weeks. But they've had a great bunch of rain and stuff. But see, he's still persuaded to get it done. He's still going that that measure and doing those things that it takes to get it done. And that's what it's about here today. We talked about here for the love of Christ. Well, are you getting it done? For the love of Christ, are you are you doing it? Are you walking in his in his in his word, an, an ear for his, his word, as he you want him to have an ear for your for the words of your mouth, or do you, are you getting the words of his mouth, which is this book, this Bible, these words that are in this Bible through, through the uh, wisdom and understanding by the Holy Spirit, are you getting those things today? Because that will what will make you persuaded, and and. Uh, draw you to the love of God to give away. That's what it's about, giving all of it away, you know, like I'm doing here, giving it away to others, presenting it so others can receive it. It's about not just ha having faith and believing, but you know, and when we receive those things, we receive things to give away. You know, God's not, he's not about hoarding. <laughs> I've watched many of the shows on hoarding and people have, have people just save a match, you know, a burnt match, you know, people, the things people, and this ma boxes of burnt matches, you know, you know, it's, uh, it's just the things that people, uh, you know, they get this mentality, you know, but this, that's a, that's a mindset, that's what we're talking about, that persuasion, it comes to a mindset, you know, are you persuaded, are you, or do you, uh, uh, are you thinking like, like, with a sound mind, and that's you know, so what the Bible says: is uh, we, uh, God will give us that sound mind, you know, and stuff. And you, you through that sound mind, you'll make sound decisions, and for for God, and for Christ, and for the for the will of God, and the and the purpose of God on this earth, and stuff. And that's why I say it was just a short message, and and, I, and we and we love you, and we want you to uh, be part of this. And like I said, you can find me on Measure Faith Worship Center, YouTube. You can pull it up. I have a, I have a, have a, 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 a playlist on there, and you can pull these messages up and stuff. At, at, at Pastor Timothy Lovett, or, or it's same with Facebook, you know. But you can go also to Measure Faith Worship Center playlist, or my uh, my YouTube channel, 
and stuff and and and, uh, uh, and, uh, and subscribe. It's, it's a little subscribe button on there. I don't have the big one. I have a little one I, and stuff. But there's a look there. You can subscribe to it and stuff, and as well as uh, uh, Facebook and stuff. But but be persuaded today. Be per be totally persuaded. You know. You know, you, you know, if you can get behind the things of this world, football, baseball, you know, you know, the local, uh, you know, uh, the local uh, children's football teams, or, or you know, uh, the, and there's nothing wrong with having those things, but you know, also carry Christ with you to them, you know, and and and, and, and present yourself in a, in a, in a, uh, uh, with the banner of Christ, you know. You know, be let, uh, like I say, uh, I had that T-shirt, and you know, I've had another T-shirt. Uh, this this man, the only one man made a difference, and it was a picture of Christ and stuff. And I used to, when I used to go to Carowinds and different uh, Disney and all those things, people would just stare at that shirt. They would just stare at it. I was thinking they're staring at me. And they said, "We like that. That's a nice shirt. Where did you find that?" <laughs> people would say, would ask me about the shirt. You know, and stuff, because, you know, it, it, you know, and then that opened up an opportunity. And, and you know, that's why I say there's great many people out there. You Today, you may have an opportunity. And you, so just like that, we're going to give you an opportunity to know him and be persuaded by the love of Christ. And that's what we're going to do here right now. And, you know, like I said, just open up your, your hearts and and, and and, and mind to God, and and, uh, and, and know, so you can know Him, and be able to get, and share His gospel, share His word with others, and stuff. And this was like I say, I put this in the description for uh, on YouTube. But if you want it, you can you rewind, uh, uh, rewind this and, and and go back through it, and write it down. Because I'm trying to end this as fast as I can. <laughs> And so I can get it on you, get it on these. It takes a it takes a good thirty minutes to get it on there, but it takes a little bit, sometimes longer than that, to get it on Facebook and stuff. But I will have, I will post them on the news feed as well as as uh, put it, put these messages. There's over thirty to forty messages over on on, on YouTube right now, that, and that's on there that you can get get and and, and go over and, and get the points out of them. But this is what you must do to be saved. We have to admit that we, uh, we are sinners and that only Jesus Christ can save us. Romans 3 and 23. And then repent and be willing to turn away from sin and submit to God. Luke 13 and 5. And then we have to believe that the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross. And he shed his blood to pay the price for our, for our sins. And then he rose again on the third day. Romans 10 and 9. And then we have to ask Jesus to save us. Romans 10 and 13. And then we have to ask him to be our Lord and be over our life. Romans 12, 1 and 2. And we're going to pray right now a prayer and just pray and just open your hearts and soul and mind. You can close your eyes. You don't have to. You know, God God knows your heart. And, and like he said, you know, uh, when we open our, 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 uh, our mouths, he hears us, you know. God's, God, God's not deaf, and He's not He's not a silent God. We we uh, we we have to open our eyes, spiritual ears and open our spiritual mouth. We have to hear the things He wants us to hear and say the things He wants us to say, and that's we have to say His word, speak His word, speak His word into our life. And right now we're going to pray, Lord, Heavenly Father. I know that I've sinned and come short of your glory. I want you to come into my heart, cleanse me, change me, transform my life. I'm a sinner, and I, I ask you to uh, uh, cleanse me with your, your, your blood. I know that you died for my sins on Calvary's cross many years ago. But, Lord, right now, come in, cleanse me, make me whole. I want to serve you. I, I want to be persuaded. I want your word to be life in me. I want your, your word to grow in me. I want to be able to give it to others, Lord God, and bring them to that same salvation that you, you, you give me today, Lord God. As I open up my heart, soul, and mind, I receive these things right now. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, amen and amen. 
if you receive that right now, God is a, a just God to forgive you and, and, and transform your life. You are now a new creature in Christ. And so you got to get you a Bible. If you don't, uh, you know, you might have Grandma's Bible. You might have Grandpa's Bible somewhere. Get it. Get into that Word. You know, you know, start reading the, the New Testament. Don't you? you you can read some of the, the, the Bible study, have Bible studies in the Old Testament and stuff. But right now, you need to get read read the, the New Testament and read it. Try to read it and and, and, uh, and and always pray before you read and pray after you read and allow the Holy Spirit to open up this word to you and stuff and get you like I say, get find a nice church. You can go online to many churches. You can start a Zoom church online. You can go to Zoom churches online. There's such technology out here today that you don't. You can, there's all, so many things that ways and, and they, that that you can uh, methods that you can do. You know, uh, find a friend with a, that goes to a great church and stuff. And that's what we want to be. You know, be able to lift each other. Up. It's like the ministers I mentioned in the earlier part of the message and stuff and. And uh, get baptized when you can get the opportunity because Christ thought it was very important. He got baptized when he was here on this earth and stuff. And it's the, it's the, uh, the symbol of uh, cleansing the, the old man and, and, and being risen in the new man. And that's what we want to be, risen in the new man. And then go to, go to uh, 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 let the devil know that you're saved. But, and be that witness that God's called you to be. Be the great Christian that God wants you to be. And you can like, take a copy of this if you need it and stuff. But God bless you. And I thank you for being here and hearing this message. Just know that I am persuaded. By the love of God, I am persuaded. And that's what you just have to just say that over and get that, get that deep into your spirit today. And know that He is a rewarder of those that diligently seeking. <laughs> Sorry about that. Not the Bible. Bible off. And stuff. But, but God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful week in Christ. Hope you have a wonderful week in your job and your finances. And same when you would need prayer for your finance right now, Lord God. Touch them in their finances, Lord God. Bring the wholeness and wellness into the finances as well as, the, as if there's also a, a an infirmity, a, a, a something in your body today. Same faith, believing and receiving right now that He is and He will do those things you ask. For I am persuaded in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless your Sabbath.